Hey guys, how's it going? I'm here with uh, Jay Slate today, the creator of the ORP mod, or Offline Raid Protection mod. And today we're going to be looking over his mod and what exactly it entails. So uh, do you want to go ahead and tell me your idea behind it? Yeah, Offline Raid Protection was really just something that stemmed out of a, a previous plugin per se, I guess you could call it, which was a DLL injection for the Windows servers. We, uh, we wanted to build a mod that was clean and stackable for all servers to be able to use in the same manner that uh, regular mods are used. So that's what ORP was really brought around from to try and also encourage PV actual PVP play versus player versus base rating play. Sounds good. So you want to go ahead and explain to us what exactly this little thing is right here? Sure. So this is the ORP pillar. Um, this is the structure that tribe members will be placing around uh, their bases. There's a tribe limit that server admins can set and whatnot, but uh, players will place the pillar down and basically what it does is it takes into account everything that is within the force field of the of the pillar and uh, whenever the all the tribe mates are detected to be offline it'll kick off a timer so that uh, you can't just sign off and activate the orp and once it kicks the timer off the, and the timer finishes it'll buff everything in the area determined how the server admin has everything set up. So in layman's term, basically what he's saying is um, when you when you log off, it'll basically apply buffs to each of your uh, structures and characters and uh, dinosaurs, for that, for that matter, um, scaling up their health and damage values, right? Yes, correct, exactly. Okay, so we got this uh, little thing here called an obelisk, I believe, and uh, when we go ahead and hold E on it, it opens up this big menu here, um, which has a lot of options. Um, many of which just kind of tell you what it does, I believe. Um, like you can show the affected area, and it'll create like a big little sphere going around your base. It's a little bit harder to see in this because we're on the map this center, and we're actually under the water in a weird underwater bubble. But as you can see, it kind of it shows you exactly how far it expands around. Which I, I believe this is a preset radius, correct? It's defined by the INI settings with the server admins, correct? Okay, so the server admins are going to make that settings. Um, and then you're going to see there's a base timer, there's a dino damage multiplier, dino HP multiplier, and structure HP multiplier. So when you're um, offline, you can see like it'll be 30, uh, 300,000 rather than 100,000. And I believe this is also damaged by only explosives, so you can't just hack away at it with a uh, metal pickaxe or anything. Yeah, you can make it to where the um, everything inside of it's essentially invincible, but I, I'm guessing many servers probably will not be enforcing that. Yeah, Orp reasons. was really designed. Orp was really designed to be completely configurable to change it and set it up to however the server admins want to have their offline raid protection. You can have it set up to where passive dinos don't can't be damaged. You can have it set up to where no dinos at all can be damaged. You can have it set up to where no structures can even be damaged. Or you can configure how much, you know, health they can get or how much damage the dinos get and so forth. Exactly. So um, once we go ahead and force the buff on this thing to go ahead and see the change, you can see that now it has 300,000 health and that everything um, within range should be triple HP and, and whatnot. Um, I believe that'll be the same for the dinos as well, or double HP for the dinos. Correct. So this uh, Carno, which is pretty high level, has... 15,000 HP right now, but once the force buff is deactivated, it's going to have about 7,500, I believe. Yep, 7,500. So as you can see, it's working perfectly. I'm actually on the uh, official ORP server, I believe it's called denverarc.com, if you guys would like to check it out. But uh, I'm going to be creating another video pretty soon, showing you how the uh, admin side of this is going to work, and um, how to add it onto your server, because I'm sure he's gotten plenty of questions about that. But uh, anyways, guys, thanks for watching. Be sure to like, comment, subscribe for more. And uh, be sure to give a big thank you to Jay Slay, who actually created this mod. Thanks, guys. Appreciate it.